Hey, welcome back to Classic Car Garage. Well, it's time for Jim Richardson's Eastwood Resto Tip. And today, Jim's going to tell us about troubleshooting your Chevy's standard transmission. Jim? Now, these Classic Era 3-speeds are really pretty simple. The average home hobbyist can take one apart in an hour. Now, I wouldn't say that about some of the later 4 and 5-speeds with synchromesh in all the gears. But let me show you how this little gearbox works. Now, this is our input shaft. The clutch disc rides right here. This goes into the front of the transmission. First thing you want to check is this big ball bearing up front here. It should be nice and smooth and not have any hitches in it. And ours seems to be pretty good. Behind that are these needle bearings that go in here. And those two need to be smooth and clean and shiny. They shouldn't be burned or pitted. If they are, you'll need to replace them. And you'll also want to check that where the, the journal where they ride. Now back here, where this shaft goes on, you can see that this is worn and there's a ridge in there from these bearings. And that's just poor maintenance. The lubricant has not been changed in this transmission often enough. So we've got quite a bit of wear on there and we may have to replace this if we can find another one. Back here is your low and reverse slider gear. Now I'm going to take this assembly off and show you a little bit about it. In here are the synchro rings and these little annular grooves sweep the oil off this ring which is kind of kind of acts as a clutch and that's what meshes the gears. If these little grooves are worn down you won't get a nice smooth shift. The gears will clash. These look pretty good though. Now out here our low and reverse slider gear you can see has had some pretty heavy damage over the years from just sloppy shifting. It could be that the linkage was out of adjustment or just aggressive shifting but it's pretty chipped up. We'll need to replace that. Okay. Now this is our cluster gear with our uh, three different speeds on it and you'll notice this gear is very badly chipped in here. This is definitely going to have to be replaced because these gears will just continue to deteriorate. That's too bad and there again it's just sloppy shifting not not paying attention because our synchro rings are actually pretty good. Now this is the side plate and these are the shifting forks. They move the gears back and forth. You want to make sure these aren't bent or worn. These look pretty good. Also you want to make sure these little detente's down in here are in good shape so the transmission will shift crisply. And these are quite nice. This, this one's fine. Won't have any problems there. Well that's about it. Now if you want to learn more about these transmissions you might want to pick up my Tri-5 Chevy handbook from HP Books. It's all in there. How to take them out, how to diagnose what's wrong and make the repairs, and how to put the transmission back in. Just transmission isn't too bad. We're going to have to replace a couple of gears and a few bearings, but it is savable. Well, that's about it. This is Jim Richardson for Classic Car Garage saying good luck with your restoration.